I'm absolutely devastated that I've made it to the end of Kirsty for the second time. I've really thoroughly enjoyed watching this all the way through again. And The Dinner Party is a really brilliant episode. It wouldn't have been my choice to end it on this note. And to be honest, something I've mentioned before is that I feel like the episodes have been uploaded slightly out of sync. Um, there's some things in this episode that feel like they should have come earlier in the show. And... I don't feel like this was the final episode. I don't feel like that was the intention. I feel like the Tony's one, with the Tony's nominations, that would have ended on such a beautiful note. But either way, it's still a really, really good episode. Arlo has invited his girlfriend, Melissa, over for dinner and her parents, because her parents live in the building and are aware of Maddie's antics, shall we say. And Maddie decides that she's going to try and be the best version of herself for Arlo when her par when Melissa's parents come over for this dinner party. But needless to say, things don't go to plan. She watches a documentary about Hitler and then dresses up in her smartest outfit and pretends to be as intelligent as she can be while Thelma is feeding her information through a headset. Frank is supposed to be picking up a professor friend of Thelma's. That doesn't go to plan. And hilarity ensues. I really thoroughly enjoyed this one. Um, the reason I feel like it's out of sync is because Lucilla isn't in this one and I don't think Arlo would be going after somebody else when he's got eyes for her. So I feel like it's slightly out of sync there. Um, but Melissa's an interesting enough character. Her parents are interesting enough as well. But most of the comedy, in fact all of the comedy, comes from the usual cast. And Kirsty, Kirsty Alley obviously as Maddie was on top form. Thelma was running ragged. Rhea Palmer gave a really great performance. And Frank was particularly brilliant. Particularly enjoyed the character in this one. Arlo was very good as well, of course. Um, but he was kind of, I guess, piggy in the middle with the parents and his mother and his, his own family. And he gave a wonderful speech at one point that I thought was very moving and very sweet. And kind of made it really beautiful. What Melissa's mother do, do, did or does, um, I rather enjoyed. I thought that was a, a great idea. The execution was brilliant. The way Maddie responded to it was wonderful. I won't say anything more about what I mean by that, as I don't want to spoil it. But I really liked it. I don't think it's a season finale. I feel like, as I said, I feel like the Tony's episode ended on what would have been a season e e ender. Um... But still a really good episode. I'm heartbroken that I finished watching it now. And equally heartbroken that there was only ever one season. And I don't know why there was only one. Because I i don't know if I'm biased. Because I love Kirsty Alley. I love Rhea Pullman. But I, I really loved it. And I wish there was more. But now I get to go and watch Fat Actress and then Veronica's Closet. So it's not all bad. Dinner Party. Really great episode. Although it's not my personal choice to end the season, it's still a very strong episode and one that I obviously really thoroughly enjoyed.